brought to you by wikivd.com. Rachel Maddow Rachel Ann Maddow is an American television host, political commentator and author. Maddow hosts a nightly television show The Rachel Maddow Show on MSNBC and serves as the cable network's special event co-anchor alongside Brian Williams. Her syndicated talk radio program of the same name aired on Air America Radio. Maddo became the first openly gay anchor to host a major primetime news program in the United States. She holds a doctorate in politics from the University of Oxford. Asked about her political views by the Valley Advocate, Maddo replied, I'm undoubtedly a liberal, which means that I'm in almost total agreement with the Eisenhower era Republican Party platform. Early life Rachel Ann Maddow was born in Castro Valley, California. Her father, Robert B. Maddow, is a former United States Air Force captain who resigned his commission the year before her birth, and then worked as a lawyer for the East Bay Municipal Utility District. Her mother, Elaine, was a school program administrator. She has one older brother, David. Her paternal grandfather was from a family of Eastern European Jews who self-identified as Polish and Russian at the time of their arrival in the United States. However, by today's borders, they would be considered Lithuanian and Ukrainian. Her paternal grandmother was of Dutch descent. Her Canadian mother, originally from Newfoundland and Labrador, has English and Irish ancestry. Maddow has stated that her family is very, very Catholic, and she grew up in a community that her mother has described as very conservative. Maddow was a competitive athlete and participated in high school volleyball, basketball, and swimming. Referencing John Hughes films, she has described herself as being a cross between the jock and the antisocial girl in high school. A graduate of Castro Valley High School, she attended Stanford University. While a freshman, she was outed by the college newspaper when an interview with her was published before she could tell you her parents. She earned a degree in public policy at Stanford in 1994. At graduation, she was awarded the John Gardner Fellowship. She was the recipient of a Rhodes Scholarship and began her postgraduate study in 1995. At Lincoln College, Oxford, she had also been awarded a Marshall Scholarship the same year, but turned it down in favor of the Rhodes. This made her the first openly gay or lesbian American to win an international Rhodes Scholarship. In 2001, she earned a Doctor of Philosophy in Politics at the University of Oxford. Her thesis is titled HIV, AIDS and Healthcare Reform in British and American Prisons and her supervisor was Lucia Zena. Radio Career Maddow's first radio hosting job was in 1999 WRNX in Holyoke, Massachusetts, then home to The Dave in the Morning Show. She entered and won a contest the station held to find a new sidekick for the show's host Dave Brinell. She went on to host Big Breakfast on WRSI in Northampton, Massachusetts for two years. She left the show in 2004 to join the New Air America. There she hosted Unfiltered along with Chuck D and Liz Winstead until its cancellation in March 2005. Two weeks after the cancellation of Unfiltered in April 2005, Maddow's weekday two-hour radio program The Rachel Maddow Show began airing. In March 2008 it gained an hour broadcasting from 6 to 9 p.m. Est, with David Bender filling in the third hour for the call-in section. When Maddow was on TV assignment, in 2008 the show's length returned to two hours. When Maddow began a nightly MSNBC television program in 2009 after renewing her contract with Air America, Maddow returned to the 5 a.m. hour long slot. Television career 
In June 2005 Maddo became a regular panelist on the MSNBC show Tucker. During and after the November 2006 election she was a guest on CNN's Paul Azan Now. She was also a correspondent for The Advocate News Magazine, an LGBT-oriented short-form news magazine for logo deriving from news items published by The Advocate. In January 2008 Maddo became an MSNBC political analyst and was a regular panelist on MSNBC's Race for the White House with David Gregory and MSNBC's election coverage as well as a frequent contributor on Countdown with Keith Olbermann. In 2008 Maddo was the substitute host for Countdown with Keith Olbermann, her first time hosting a program on MSNBC. Maddo described herself on air as nervous. Keith Olbermann complimented her work and she was brought back to host Countdown the next month. The show she hosted was the highest-rated news program among people aged 25 to 54. For her success, Olbermann ranked Madder third in his show's segment World's Best Persons. In July 2008, Maddo filled in again for several broadcasts. Maddo also filled in for David Gregory as host of Race for the White House. Olbermann began to push for Maddo to get her own show at MSNBC and he was eventually able to persuade Phil Griffin to give her Dan Abrams' time slot. The Rachel Maddo Show In August 2008 MSNBC announced The Rachel Maddo Show would replace Verdict with Dan Abrams in the network's 9 p.m. slot the following month. Following its debut, the show topped Countdown as the highest-rated show on MSNBC on several occasions. After being on air for more than a month Maddo's program doubled the audience that hour. This show made Maddo the first openly gay or lesbian host of a primetime news program in the United States. Early reviews for the show were positive. Los Angeles Times journalist Matea Gold wrote that Maddo finds the right formula on MSNBC and The Guardian wrote that Maddo had become the star of America's cable news. Associated Press columnist David Border opined that she was Keith Olbermann's political soulmate and he described the Olbermann Maddo shows as a liberal two-hour block of her collegial relationship with Roger Isles of Fox News, whom she sought out for technical advice Maddo said she doesn't want to talk about it because I don't want anybody else to use it. It was a nice thing that he did for me and it's been valuable. For me it helped me get an advantage over my competitors. In mid-May 2017, Amid multiple controversies surrounding the Trump administration, MSNBC topped the news ratings, surpassing CNN and Fox News. For the week of May 15, The Rachel Maddow Show was the number one non-sports program on cable for the first time. She has been called America's wonkiest anchor, who cut through the chaos of the Trump administration and became the most trusted name in the news. Maddo has argued that these issues are the most serious scandals that any president has ever faced. It has been said the show's mantra is, increase the amount of useful information in the world. She said her rule for covering the Trump administration is, don't pay attention to what they say. Focus on what they did not because it's easier to cover a fast-moving story when you're not distracted by whatever the White House denials are. Writing career Maddo wrote Drift, the unmooring of American military power about the role of the military in post-war American politics. Upon its release Drift topped the New York Times bestsellers list for hardcover non-fiction. In December 2013, the Washington Post announced that Maddo would write a monthly opinion column for the paper, contributing one article per month over a period of six months. Public Image and Publicity 
A 2011 Hollywood Reporter profile of Maddo said that she was able to deliver news with agenda, but not hysteria. A Newsweek profile said at her best Maddo debates ideological opponents with civility and persistence, but for all her eloquence, she can get so wound up ripping Republicans that she sounds like another smug cable partisan. The Baltimore Sun critic David Zurowick accused Maddow of acting like a lockstep party member. The editors of The New Republic similarly criticized her, naming her among the most overrated thinkers of 2011 they called her program a textbook example of the intellectual limitations of a perfectly settled perspective on awarding the Interfaith Alliance's Faith and Freedom Award named for Walter Cronkite Rev. Dr. C. Welton Gaddy remarked that Rachel's passionate coverage of the intersection of religion and politics exhibits a strong personal intellect coupled with constitutional sensitivity to the proper boundaries between religion and government. A Time profile called her a whip-smart, button-cute lefty. It said she radiates an essential decency, and suggested that her career rise might signify that nice is the new nasty. Distinguishing herself from others on the left, Maddo has said she is a national security liberal and in a different interview stated that she is not a partisan. The New York Times called her a defense policy wonk. Political views During the 2008 presidential election Maddow did not formally support any candidate. Concerning Barack Obama's candidacy Maddow said I have never, and still don't think of myself as an Obama supporter either professionally or actually. In 2010, Republican Senator Scott Brown speculated that Maddow was going to run against him in the 2012 Senate election. His campaign used this premise for a fundraising email although Maddow repeatedly stated that Brown's speculation was false. Brown continued his claims in Boston media, so Maddow ran a full-page advertisement in the Boston Globe confirming that she was not running and separately demanded Brown's apology. She added that despite repeated invitations, over the months Brown had refused to appear on her TV program. Ultimately, it was Elizabeth Warren who ran in 2012 defeating Brown. Maddow has suggested that the alleged Trump-Russia collusion has continued beyond the 2016 presidential election. In March 2017 she blamed Russia for WikiLeaks Vault 7 disclosure of the CIA's hacking tools, saying, consider what the other U.S. agency is besides the State Department that Putin most hates, that Putin most feels competitive, with, that Putin most wants to beat. It's the CIA. Right. Smart observers say this is the largest dump of classified CIA material maybe ever and it really could be a devastating blow to the CIA's cyber war and flat-out spying capabilities. And the dump was released by WikiLeaks. Regarding the Trump-Russia scandal Maddow said, if the Trump presidency is knowingly the product of a foreign intelligence operation, that is a full-stop national crisis. Concerning alternative facts and fake news Maddow said, the president denigrating the press is important in terms of his behavior as an increasingly authoritarian style leader period. Personal life Maddow splits her time between Manhattan, New York and West Cummington, Massachusetts. With her partner artist Susan Mikula, they met in 1999, when Maddow was working on her doctoral dissertation. Maddo has dealt with cyclical depression since puberty. In a 2012 interview she stated it doesn't take away from my joy or my work or my energy, but coping with depression is something that is part of the everyday way that I live and have lived for as long as I can remember. Maddo said there are three things I do to stay sane. I exercise, I sleep, I'm a good sleeper and I fish popular culture. 
Abby Elliott played Maddo in sketches on Saturday Night Live. Maddo appeared as a character on the November 3, 2013 episode of The Simpsons for Regrettings and a Funeral. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?